I don't know anything else yet. How's your love life, sir? <laughs> Are you new around here? When you're moving, uh, will there be a streaming break? Um, a Khmer, by the way. Byzantines, Magyars, Khmer, Burmese against Japanese, Malians. Where are my bills? Uh, against Japanese, they have Poles, Aztecs, Malians, and Japanese. Pretty good civs. <laughs> we'll just drop a TC here. Hello, shorefish, thank you. You know A2, but the women know everything else, man. Got the haircut. Fine, fine. Oh, that's a closed town center. The less is there. Byzantines. His dock isn't too far. I'm not sure if I can rely on, rely on him to defend my fish, though. I love a good old Nomad game. You don't get to see those often. True. On quality content on TV, will I eat this delicious foo? Enjoy boiled noodles. Your name is fitting your dish. Go back slick and let the hair grow. Stay ensum. Stay, stay humble, stay ensum. Maybe save a dog this time. The thing is, I can do this now. Bam. You can hide in the house. So we're fine. They both put the teases in the middle of the map. Okay, at least none from our team is the last one. Whoever's last is a really late down center, it seems. Still not up. Three minutes and ten seconds. Maybe a really unfortunate start. Ruben last, probably. Why probably Ruben? He's a red color. I don't know what tell there was that he would be last. Stay humble. Margugo, I won the game where I did the two eagle blur, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. I would have probably lost if I didn't do that. One thing I'm going to try to get used to is not build too many houses with this dock villager. Because if you lose the water, all the houses go down as well after they take down your dock. And besides, you want this fisher guy to be taking food anyway. So... You were casting doubt at 45 months and target 3 units with them. <laughs> doubt, when I checked his POV, he had like 27 monks in the same control group. Isn't it embarrassing when you think about the, how Doubt plays? Knowing that he laps you easy? Isn't that kind of embarrassing? The less back playing. Never left. It just has a little bit less time for AV2 compared to before due to his studies. Need 30 food. I want to play without Loom. So far, so good. Should be another board down here somewhere. So we got one board there, which means there should be one board down to this direction. There's one board up there as well. Oh, someone found my dock. No bueno. Probably try a straight fast castle. Cannot find the boar that I presume to be here. Mistakes were made. Yeah, the cats are truly gonna enjoy being able to run outside again. I, they must be going crazy. Living in the same this apartment for so long. Oh, that was a mistake, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, Ruben, uh, who's Gray? Full. The Gray player seems to be quite close to me. See if we do any. Maybe he took whatever board that could have been down there then. Maybe I go up with a stable. Wait, there are new campaigns coming out, full caps lock? Uh, there will be like four complete new ones, and then there's gonna be like 14 or 15 that are kind of made from the developers. I'll do one more fishing ship, I think that's a worthwhile investment. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do more fishing ships. Not campaigns, but scenarios. Wait, so is each of them just gonna be one clip? Or like one mission? Will every single one of those just be a single mission? Don't really need wood, so let's just put everything on food. To see if we're able to get 800 food in time to go up straight to the castle edge. This will be a really fast gas stage time if it works out. Pretty much. Okay, well, as long as they like have a decent length playing length, length to them, I'm still fine with that. One more on gold. No. Oh, yeah, I'm Khmer. True. You're right. I'm a little bit worried that I won't have enough food, though. I mean, with six fishing ships, though, I think I should be fine. I think we're fine, actually. Yeah. Got a little bit more food coming there. I think I do depend on my fishing ships, though. For the last bit of food. We have enough? 14, 6, yeah, it should be enough. Okay, it will be like instant castleage. Nice. Oh. Love it. That's 19 YouTube videos. Oh, that's one way to look at it, yeah, I know. Like, look, we are four players in Dark Age. I'm on the way to Castle Age. What now? <laughs> now we make more villagers. And we get another sheep. Thank you very much. And also my fish hasn't died before I'm Castle Age. That's usually my how I play the game. With, without fish. So this is also still nice for now. Like, we have two players in Dark Age still. Let's do horse color before we make a farm. Can I afford two teases right away? I think I might be delaying wood upgrade, second wood upgrade a little bit. Ruben, what did I ever do to you, man? What did I ever do to you? It's a dock villager. Hero. Hero among, amongst ordinary men. Uh, let's do one TC there, one TC there. 14 minute cast Legend Nomad. That's pretty sick. Let's not delay wood upgrade. My thesis will be a little bit idle. But it's fine. I know fish. He did leave two of them alive for now. It's just because he wanted to go to the next person. He did enough damage to me by killing like four of my fishing ships. Okay, we'll have a little bit of idle thesis time, but once the villagers get going, or production gets going, should be a pretty smooth boom. I'll take that, thank you very much. Is 
is where I wish I had a market. I did a mistake. I, I left bills on gold. That was a big mistake. I've collected 200 gold extra than I needed. That should have been like wood, for example, for farms. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Otherwise, it's been pretty perfect so far. Also, obviously, don't have fish. Fish is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Where's my favorite citizens I saw a video from T90 on how unstoppable they were. They pretty much are. They're definitely one of the best cities in the game, no question about it. The flexibility, how many maps they are good on, and so forth. It's just hard to not take them into consideration if you're talking about the best civs in Age of Empires. So once I have like 16 on farms, or on food, I will think about or switch my focus to maybe a third town center, a uh, fourth town center. Next up, not a town center. Fourth town center and then a fifth town center. I think that's the way to go here. Are Persian still top tier? Yeah, I would say so. Especially on hybrid maps. Especially on hybrid maps. What's my favorite save today? Mm. I'm not sure if I have one favorite save that stands out. I like different saves at different times. On different maps and so forth. You know, there's not like, oh, I love this save. This is my favorite. I don't have that kind of thing. About any saves, I would say. All right, this is looking good. We're definitely going to add a fourth town center. Maybe even a fifth. I mean, like a sixth overall, that would be. I'm tempted to go for a 6th town center. What do you guys think? Boom into GG? I don't think so. I think our boom is going to be extremely powerful. The question is just what unit I make after. I'm feeling battle elephants. I usually go ballista elephants, but right now I'm feeling battle elephants. Oh, I'm going back home. It's just a prank, bro. Mm, you sure about this? Mm. Don't have loom. What is he doing? He committed and then he did not just like not commit at all. Was a bit strange, but okay. The gray has knights. I think I still want another town center. Yes, I know I don't have Loom. How serious do you take the feedback Harry gave you regarding improving tournament performance? It's not really anything I didn't already know, to be fair. But of course, it never hurts having other people tell you it. You just reinforce things that you can change. But I, I think I have other issues that needs to be sorted first before any minor issues like that. I say minor. There are other issues that I think are more important to fix rather than the things he brought up. How about the hoarding gold comment? It's a it's a true statement. That's something I also am obviously aware of. I often find myself in situations where I'm loading gold because I was greedy or just switched into a boom, but I didn't really readjust my economy to align with my greed. We have a 60s boom going on right now. Because I need to make sure I maintain my houses. Question is, do I, do I prepare elephant spam now? Or do I do it in Imperial Age? Make a 7 town center? 
No, let's not go overkill, okay? Does it feel weird to give advice to a new kid? Is he the new kid? It would be weird to me if I got advice from like... Like noobs. Like let's say Margoo comes and gives me advice. Hey Viper, you should fix this, right? Obviously first I laugh. And then I feel weird about it. Because then I realize, wow, this guy has the audacity to give me advice. You know? And then... You, then you might have a bit of a self-reflection and be like... Wow, have I really sunk that low that this guy, that guy, would give me advice? You know, that's kind of the thing you go through. Be humble. You have a sheep on the coast to the left. I don't think a sheep is important for me right now. I'd rather set up my farming economy. We're already 110 bills. Let's idle. We'll do wheelbarrow. Cancel all the production. And we'll go to the Imperial Age. Start building stables. On every angle. I don't have enough food. A gold. Started my gold income a little bit too late. Come on. Come on, 20 gold. Thank you. You can do a loom as well. Maybe some more houses for good things about that. Would like a castle on this hill? It is close to gray. I'm not sure if this is safe yet. But the elephant spam should be insane. Ballista riot? We always go ballista elephants. I thought we should change it up a little bit. Try something else, you know? We have enemy down there, enemy up here, and two enemies up there, okay. Aztecs, he might go full monks, in which case I could always just mix in other things. Let's do a monastery so we can do, uh, so we can get de devoted. Oh no, better point issue. I want this tusk swords. I think our elephants are just gonna absolutely clap. Who wants to castle drop? That's good. Need more houses. Ignore the team for long enough. I've been slowly monitoring what they're doing. It's all good. Bull should be full of fear here. That's all I can say, because he's got some big ass chunky boys coming his way. Send some chunky, chunky boys to them as well. 1100 food for elite. We can do that. Chonky boys will enjoy. I mean, look at the score. That looks pretty brutal. Gibettos are pretty strong, though. I'll give them that. Need this husk swords. Okay, let's do elite chunky boys before we continue now. Make market, please. What? What does stable wheels appear? I guess he saw me. Hello? All right, let's do. A... Where are my elephants at? He just killed me with the gabettos. Yes, he may have. Let's try to go to Vilesa. 
save blue a little bit. Maybe I didn't pay enough attention to see where people were struggling. Ruben is imp. Gray is quite behind. What? I'm devoted. Game doesn't care about my devotion. It seems. It would seem. Well, it does make sense. I barely have blacksmith upgrades. Faith? I might have to do faith as well, yeah. We need to make sure we take the, the gray base so we can take that gold. No! Okay, this is good. He's definitely gonna need help there. Ah, oh, what a waste. I guess we could go and destroy gray completely. You need to get Kylar to like cav archers, I think. That's a low HP elephant, he can have that one. Yeah, me missing the armor upgrades have been very bad for us. Another reason why we haven't killed him already. Well, we had a great boom. I didn't really deliver on the upgrades in time to make a real impact. Or as much of an impact as we could have done, rather. Still doing significant damage though to the last there. Huh? I'm seeing this. <laughs> oh, what's happening here? Pathing, I guess. Yeah, let's let's get faith. I think faith. Don't have a market to sling yet. Yeah, purple is going from there as well. Since they seem to be pretty set on converting my uh, my converted elephants are gonna kill his traps. Okay, um They're holding up here. That's very good. The Gabetos came to help the left side. So that means that they are fine there as well. Gray now lost the castle, so we're making progress. Now I can send these elephants as well up here. We can crush Rubenstock maybe. Use another castle for traps. I don't think it's that important. Let's prepare those upgrades. Let's try to get the market. We might have to trade there. Trading through the middle of the map safe. I think so. That's our safest spot right now. He opens the gate. I can come and kill with elephants. Tyler or Timo to couchers? Uh, Timo should be couchers. My opinion. Gray is pretty much out of the game now. We'll just make sure we chase him completely off. Now I can send everything here. Cut trees. Or trust. Cut the trust. Oh, that was open. <laughs> yeah, shoot the trust, please. It's gonna wall behind. Don't know if I'll be able to get inside anywhere at this rate, so let's just go up. That's gonna be a very interesting trade route. Let's do a castle there. Uh, 
I have faith and devotion, so I am fully devoted right now. Rubenstock seems to be doing a good job being annoying with just Japanese trebs and monks in his right corner. Going for Rimba camels. Oof. He's going to take those castles. I'll prepare st more stables for Huster as well, because Ruben uh, Villas is making so many monks. Who else can use resources? I think everyone else are good. Send this to the economy. Oh, there's so many monks over there. Ankart, not the biggest deal for for uh, Mer, but I will do it anyway. Yes. Maybe a bad idea. I think I'm killing most of his monks at least in the exchange. It might still be fine. Maybe I didn't. Donnie! Loom, Donnie! What you doing, Donnie? Make loom! Look at that regrouping. Ay, 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 ay. Thank you, Donnie. Hope you had a good stream. Thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. Oh, my elephants are wrecking havoc in their base. That's good. I knew I was doing that. More like a boom, Donnie. That's how it works, yeah? See if we can get rid of those... Uh, Debate those there. Yeah, he's losing a lot of economy. I think this raid is massive. But they're losing more and more ground to Ruben on the corner here. They even have bomber cannons. But they do have the trebs from the from the Japanese that are hard to deal with. Wood, wood all the time. Okay, Velesa is hurting though. I still think we're in a very good spot here. This is a stalemate. Actually, they're pushing here. So as long as Ruben doesn't get too much ground here, we should be fine. What do I make against this? Scorpions? Actually, no. I think my role is just continue make spamming cavalry and slinging. How does this done his AOE trainings part now? Yeah, genau. Donnie is was my coach. Actually, I was until 2022. I was by myself, and then I started getting coaching by Donnie. And so, for some reason, people call me washed up now. Don't know what happened. When's your Monday? Ah, the Deutsche Montag, eh? A lot of things I haven't built stables anywhere else in my, than in my base. It's not really optimal. Now you're a pro? Quite the opposite, sir. Game is lagging. Elephant raid! Good thing is Grey is still out of the game, right? And as long as Ruben... Oh, this is starting to look ugly, though. I need siege rams up there. They cannot ignore Ruben like this. Um, hello? You guys are completely ignoring Rubenstock in your base. <laughs> Not how it works. Who's Donnie? A German Age of Empires pro. Where he used to be. Some hustler down there to clean up the monks. Oh god, that looks ugly. Holy sheesh. Did they, did they just decide to ignore him completely to push up here? Bros. Yeah, I think I need to go rams. I'm not sure if I like the sound of... For me going to Ruben. We have a lot of resources on the map though, so and uh, Vilesa has taken a lot of damage. So Ruben is now the problem.
Gray is still suffering down here, I believe. Yes, he is. Yeah, I, I shall switch my focus to try and help against the Ruben. Yeah, playing against this Japanese tower push is a pain in the butt. But when you play as the Japanese, you absolutely love it. It's so fun. Yeah, I think we just need mass rams and elephants there. Oh, he has more elephants than I do suddenly. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, we have cow watchers there now. We could probably use his cow watchers against Ruben. This is about to be overchopped eventually too. Okay, trade is not safe here anymore. Bad thing is we never got rid of Grey, so trading down here isn't really safe either. Don't have just uh, helps if there is no other army. Of course, they will kill rams, but plan is to have other units with the rams. That can contribute here. Yeah, I don't like how they just stopped caring about Ruben at all. Because now Ruben has a solid foothold. And they probably lost a lot of economy as well. Okay, they pull the wheels off there. He comes with cowards there, we can push this back. Okay, let's go. This will give them time to breathe on top though. Yeah, fall back a little bit, so his monks come further forward. Okay, let's go again. One big push to try and buy some time again here. And the ram seems to be doing a good good job so far. He's doing a good job targeting though. He's always targeting cowards and a ram by it seems like. Can I get on top of these monks? I think it's time to just go full send. Full send. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, that hurts. Oh. Oof, my elephants are gone. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> Holy shit. When you fight up the hill against halves and 20 traps and 40 halves and like 20 towers, Yosama towers. Damn. Yeah, let's just clean up the, the towers in the low ground here. We need to continue to raid on top side though. We cannot allow them full breathing time to get back in the game. We cannot fight here, that's the thing. For now, now it's going to be harder for Ruben to come out of this corner again. Um, we can no longer fight. We cannot fight up here, at least not for the time being. So we're just gonna focus on cleaning up the top side. I'm very impressed with how boss, how brave he is with those. It's fine. Oh shit. I think we cannot ignore the bottom anymore. Time to get some camels there, or castles. He's raiding my economy. I do not like that. Green is back in the game. We might be losing this. Don't have. Right now, unfortunately. This is suddenly not looking good. And I'll build more wheels. Especially if they get Viles as well up and running. Yeah, Teal is just suddenly out of the game, right? Oh boy, boy. Oh, 
need to uh, drive down here. Finally get rid of this. Game is starting to lag. At least it looks like Ruben is not really able to make progress here at the moment. That's at least good. Very close game though, I like it. I would need ballistics to shut down the raids. Oh, Taras is so strong. This is almost overchopped. Wait, do we have a full gold there? What? All right, around my numbers are healthy. That's good. This castle goes down and Gray is out of the game again. Or like he cannot punish us from that side at least. Uh -huh. Okay, whatever. Let's just push Gray up there. We just wanna not fight next to Red's towers. Or the tower mass. I'll try to set some equip up in the meantime. I have 11 trade units right now. I say equip, I meant trips, uh, trade. That's ugly. At least Gray is officially out. If we can take this, I can take the... I'm gonna send a ram down there. Yeah, I can't really fight this. Yeah, Timo is fine on that side. That's good. Six-ish bomber tower. It's not. It's not. It's not straightforward with uh, fighting Japanese trebs. Is not really that easy when he has well, like using bomber cannons on paper is good against Japanese. Yes, but when he has 10, 15 Kataburuto trebs, they can fight bomber cannons quite easily. Need to get rid of Vils as well. Just need to find the right time. Joe. Joe. Idols. Okay, one trap down. Yeah, I still feel like we have control over the game, but it definitely got quite messy. What did I write there? I tried to say idols. Mm -hmm. We can then stretch out our trade. Need to make sure we clean up these buildings. Down here in particular. Idols! The trade route is it clean? Relatively clean. He's coming though, for our trade right? line. Maybe I, I could start mixing in some scorpions now. 900 wood. We can get there. A bit of patience. This is a proper normal game. There's mess and action happening everywhere. I like it. Gold! These scorpions? Yeah, kind of what I'm trying to get now. Ah, a little bit more wood. A little bit more wood. Ruben is a pain in the butt. They must be running out of gold though. They have nowhere to trade. And Timo is pushing, doing a good job pushing up here. 
But surely they must be suffering as well on gold quite soon. Mr. Yup, thanks for three months, uh, two months. Okay, we get a couple of scorpions out on the field. Scorpions will be great as long as it's... Ooh, that's ugly. As long as we're not fighting under his towers. Kind of need all the units down here. Those halves really wanted to kill that farm. I guess it's time to move the market. Oh, how many units? Can't fight him under the towers, but if I can get some rams. Okay, let me just. Whatever. Where's the market? We need seed workshops here. How much stone does he have? Holy cup. They must be slinging all the stone in the world. That's crazy. Okay, which way does he run now to save the perps? He tries to go into his Alps. If I can take out half of those trebs there, I'm happy with that investment. God, that got melted still. He doesn't have too many trebs left. My population is bad. <laughs> Suddenly. I'm gonna delete this marker as well. I don't trust it. I don't trust that to stay up. Still making progress on the top side. I think we're gonna to have to rely on that. They're pushing into Ruben's eco there as well. Also, I don't really want to fight here because I don't have. Because he has so many traps still. He can just snipe my scorpions one by one. I prefer that not to happen. We just build up a Husser army and like 20 scorpions here, and I think we should still be okay. More production buildings? I don't really need more production buildings right now. But surely he has to run out of stone at some point, right? He's still fine. We'll hit the point where we just stop. He stopped make, making progress because he cannot have 17 towers on each spot anymore. I do get this gold though, and a little bit of the map. I don't think they can stop Teemo up here. Just taking wood, I'll raid that. Gladly. We just can figure out the pathing. Is he defending now, Ruben? Jeps are going back home. We don't disagree with that. Run up the list, elephants. But I wasn't. I did commit my tech elsewhere, and now I only have three castles. It would have been too costly for me to switch away from uh, or two the list elephants at this point. You know there's a lunar robot being built right now from NASA called Viper? I did not know that. That's a very good name. Oh, 
Oh no. Shoot! Okay, that's good. Towers are getting slowly cleaned up. So oh, that's the issue there. Side have is that Ruben. If Ruben has to defend one side, he cannot defend the other. Oh, the traps are on my. Oh, uh, Scorps. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think we have full upgrades, right? Yeah, we do. Our job is kill one tower at a time. That was a good game. Became super messy. Thought it was really over and then both Joe and Boy Wonder kind of ignored Rubenstock completely. He was able to get such a good foothold in the center. Victoria! Any game you can 60s boom is a good game, yeah, for sure. Like we had a what 14 minute castle age time on Nomad. That's not many saves can do that. <laughs> Easy rush. Rush for us now, we'll see. We're still here in Victoria for Hint Cup games. Uh, I'm not sure if th that mod was installed. No, I don't think I did so. That mod was not installed in Cosworo. That's the beauty of Nomad games. It's so messy. People are everywhere on the map. Enemies and allies. You were the only one trading. You actually got 5k in trade. That's not too bad. Sir, some of the streamers making team game with viewers about... What about you also play with us one day a week? Can't be so fun. For you, maybe. What about me? Uh, no, with, with regards to viewer games, it's like... I did a lot of them in the past. And it kind of wore me out a little bit because we would play like capture the relic, for example, and people would just ignore the relic and play only to tower rush me or be on my stream or so forth. Like, cause they wanted to like attack me and just ignore the mission and things like that. And they, it wore me out a little bit, but uh, I'm sure I will do some viewer stuff in the future, but uh, we're going to wait until I feel it.